Troop County is under a state of emergency following the devastating tornado that blew through the area Sunday morning. Now the damage is quite extensive with 80 to 100 homes damaged and 20 to 30 completely destroyed. Officials say there were five non-life threatening injuries, which is minor for a storm of this magnitude. Thousands of families were impacted in the devastating tornado that blew through parts of West Georgia Sunday morning. This is the fourth tornado to impact the county this year. In the chaos of the tornado, two tigers from the wild animal safari in Pine Mountain went missing and have since then been captured safely and returned to their habitats. Just hours after the storm, first responders and local officials rallied together behind the affected communities, ready to rebuild. The majority of the damage happened along the 7800 block of West Point Road, leaving some residents trapped in their homes surrounded by the debris. While the county is still in the early stages of assessing the damages, Troop County officials have been working closely with the Red Cross, ensuring local shelters are accessible to those who need it. There can be other substantial things such as um, additional structure issues, trees falling, uh, water leaks that may push, that may not need shelter now, may need that in the next day or two. So we're working with our partners at the Red Cross to, to make sure we've got enough room for anybody that needs it. At this time, Troop County Schools will be open Monday morning during normal operating hours. Due to the roadway closures, the school system is currently working on alternate routes that students and parents can take safely to and from school. Troop County is not under severe weather threat right now, but the affected areas could see more storms heading into Monday. Reporting in Troop County, Christina Feliciano, back to you.